Some teamwork, Nasha, and trust. A lot of trust. Let the day begin. Nuff, nuff. <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> Dad! Dad, you won't believe what. Oh. <laughs> this is a fireplace, not a hiding place. <laughs> For the last time, Dennis, I will not have Nasha burying his bones in the house. Poor Nasha. I'll break it to him gently. Time to go shopping, Dad. You've been rambled, Nasha. <laughs> and get your umbrella, Dad. It's raining bones out there. By the time we return, I don't want to see a single bone in this house, Dennis. Mm, looks like we've got some digging to do. <laughs> Triple roll, they dig that hole. <laughs> What's wrong, Nasha? <laughs> Rock? Don't worry, Nasha. We'll get rid of this oversized pebble. It's strange. Dennis didn't turn up at the treehouse, Curly. Let's try round the back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, open sesame! Dennis! Huh? What's this? Dinosaurs? Mammoths? Stone Age men? You know what? This is a Stone Age cave painting. Look, Den. That looks like you, that does. And here's a saber-toothed Nasher. <coughs> but this must be millions of years old. Wow. Imagine what it must have been like back then. No school, no homework. You could really have fun back then. Swamp is a Wimpersaurus! Right! You're, You're on! on. <laughs> oh, <yeah. Hooray! laughs> <laughs> Aren't the jungle creepers wonderful at the moment, Matilda? <laughs> and that, Matilda, is why the Dennis tribe are our sworn enemies. <coughs> to be saved! <laughs> Thanks to Terry the Dactyl! <laughs> He's going to swallow us! Not in a million years! <laughs> Everyone knows that Brontosaurus is a vegetarian! I think I'll give dinner a miss today. You boys. Hi, Mum. Can Curly and Pie Face stay for dinner? Of course, dear. I just need a good bolt of lightning so that I can barbecue the burgers. Won't be long now. <laughs> Bye, Terry. And thanks for saving our lives. <laughs> By the 
time we get our dinner, it'll be the Ice Age. Ah! Oh, the stove's lit at last. Perfect. Very tasty, this. Yes, I could get used to this sky food. No, I still prefer the old ways. Once a flea, always a flea. I wish I knew why he did that. You'll never catch it then. And don't try. I've told you before about racing your food. <laughs> don't ruin this moment with cheap jokes. I have just made the discovery of the Millennium. What are you talking about, Dennis? I have just invented the wheel. Phew! Finished. Uh, how does the wheel work then, Den? Uh, have you invented the instructions yet? Uh, no. But all we need is a test pilot, a test pilot called Pie Face. Wow. That's... that's... that's my name! Sometimes it's just too easy. <laughs> uh, into the driving seat. <laughs> Launch sequence activated. Three, three, four, go! go! Dennis. It works. And it's safe, too. Thanks to Pie Face, you can hear it coming. Out, 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 I don't believe it. Of all the people who could have invented the wheel, it had to be Dennis. Our leader, the Colonel, has been trying to invent the wheel for years. Let's visit the Colonel and tell on the Dennis tribe. How do wheels stop, Dennis? Well, Curly, you have to know in advance where you want to stop and then grow a big tree there. Or build a stone wall. This is Walter of the Sneaky Tribe. Are you there, glorious leader? Oh, for goodness sake, just ring. Hello, hello. Greetings, Sergeant Slipper. We come with news for our leader. We're telling on the Dennis tribe. Oh, you'd better come in then. Dennis is our sworn enemy. Gosh! This is our top secret, top secret, top secret place. I'm surprised you found the doorbell. Who let these trainee adults into my secret research cave? These children have news of the Dennis tribe, Colonel Leader. Have they, by Joe? Well, it will have to wait. But Dennis has invented... I have just invented the weapon of tomorrow, today. The club. This is our economy model, the working man's club. What about this one? Specially adapted for fighting after dark, the nightclub. Wow! That's just the beginning. Wait till you see our latest piece of hardware. Begin test drive! This is it. 
A weapon that is going to help us get rid of Dennis and his tribe for good. What's it called? Call it Attack. Look out below. As you can see, it travels at great speeds. I think that's called falling. But soon it will be falling sideways. Oh, yes. We have invented the side faller. The side faller? Yes. An exciting new invention that allows heavy objects to fall sideways along the ground. And this is it the pointy side faller. This is my new Mark II wheel, Curly. A great improvement, Dennis. Travelling on the inside was a stroke of genius. Best one to catch up with Pie Face is the winner. You're on! The pointy side faller? You've got it all completely wrong. What are you talking about? We've seen a better one. It's called a wheel and it's round. That's what we came to tell you. Round, eh? Exactly. And it's got a hole in the middle. A hole in the middle? By Jove, this is all very complicated. But that's not all. It actually rolls along. Keep it down, boy. If this sort of information gets into the wrong hands, it could be dangerous. Oh. <laughs> Walter, Matilda, this could be a major breakthrough. <laughs> Who invented this device? Well, that's the amazing thing. It was Dennis. Dennis? What does he know about advanced technology? He's just a kid. We must get our hands on Dennis's wheel. War depends upon it. Out, 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 out. Push off, will ya? The wheel! Invading without a license, driving before it's invented, speeding before I've made up a speed limit. Hmm. Ah! Oh! I'm off! Yay! I haven't finished yet! <laughs> oh no! The sneaky tribe have seen our wheel! And now, they're bound to use it against us. Nothing can stop us now. On the count of three. Three! Look, the door's opening. Who is our most experienced wheel driver? Ah, that'll be Ugg. He's done over 50 hours wheel driving. Ugg, step forward. Hello. Are you all right, man? No, not really. We discovered too late that driving on the outside of the wheel is bad for your health. <coughs> so we invented uh, this. It will flatten all our enemies. And it's pushed along by my pet, Bufusaurus. <coughs> And we all walk behind it in complete safety. Oh no! What's that? It's a flattening thing! We're done for, Dennis! Back to base! 
We don't have much time. <laughs> Dash it all. The Dennis tribe have seen our wheel roller. It's now or never. Everyone behind the wheel. <laughs> Sorry, then. Don't be. Thanks to you, Pie Face, I've just made up another invention. No time to waste. Curly, collect ten bags of smelly mud from the swamp. Right you are, Dennis. Pie Face, find as many melons as you can. Uh, OK. Nasha, bite off as many Y-shaped branches as you can find, like this one. Yes. Oh, I hope we're not too late to stop the Colonel. Flatten them all into doormats. No offense intended, Ugg. <sighs> They're coming! What we do? What we do? What we do? Stop panicking, Pie Face, and help Curly fill the melons with stinky swamp mud. Okay, then. They might have pinched my wheel idea, but this invention beats the lot. This day will go down in prehistory, Matilda, as a famous victory for the Sneaky Tribe. Oh, Walter, my hero. Right, this is it. Target in sight. Charge! <laughs> You've had your fun. Now you better turn that thing round and get out of here. Forget it, Dennis. You haven't got a chance against us. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, everybody. Fire at will. Uh, which one's the will? <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> <laughs> In the name of the law of the jewel. Retreat! How dare you shout retreat? This is my war. I invented it. <laughs> Isn't that creature pulling the... One, Dennis, you invented the catapult and the wheel all in one day. And the sneaky tribe were flattened once and for all. Hooray! 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 Thank you, thank you. Dennis, Nasha. Oh, it's dark in here. Stuck. Look out, or we'll be flattened as well. Oh, oh. oh there you are, Dennis. Uh, hi, Mom. Who'd like to stay for burgers? Wow! Yes, please. <laughs> Come on then. Without the aid of lightning. I love this century. <laughs> <laughs> Extra 
ketchup on mine, please, Mum. I'd like extra ketchup too, please. Can I have a pie on my burger? Just terrible! We'll never win first prize in tomorrow's dog show if you keep doing clever things like that. <coughs> I know it's difficult for you, Nasha, but you must try to act like an ordinary dog. Just for one day. <coughs> Good! Now, let's try it again. Sit! <coughs> Lay dead. <coughs> If I didn't know any better, I think you didn't want us to win that super sound system. It's the first prize in the dog show. Ooh. How about pointing? Yes. Come on, like this. Great point, Nasha. But the wrong way. What use is a pointer with no sense of direction? <sighs> and as your headmaster, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce this 13th annual dog show open. <laughs> You! Dog at the back! Stop barking! <laughs> so, without any further ado, let's find out who's going to take home this single our cell system with Doberman in Logic Karaoke! Me and Nasha can beat anyone! Except me and my dog Fufu. Or me and my dog Polly. Uh, Pie Face, that's not a dog, it's a parrot. Well, yeah, uh, but he does impressions. Whoa. What? That's cheating! You're disqualified! Ooh. I hope they're not this tough at the cat show. By the way, Dennis, is that a dog? Or did you decide to take the trash out for a walk? Pedal off, poodle boy. Nasha is the doggiest dog in the contest. And just to make sure, I've brought along a little incentive. <laughs> A tasty tripound treat for every trick performed like an ordinary dog. Cool, <sighs> yuck. Uh, they might smell horrible, but I know it's the scent of victory. Dogs, heal. Dogs, sit. Nasha, really average. <laughs> now, know how to handle the obstacle course, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go! Oh dear, maybe you should cut down on these treats. Big and big and newer than you. The Pleasant Park Mega Ball opens for you. A new shopping mall? In our town? I never noticed anybody building one. It's, it's got, got miles of miles and billions of bargains. I've got to get down there. I'm going to shop till I drop. Come on, Dennis. Let's check it out. I'll be with you in just a minute. Now, that's not fair. I want to go too. You dogs, sit and stay. Nasha, you stay too and look after them. I'll check out the Mega Mall, then report back.
Welcome to the Mega Mall. Have a nice shop. Have a nice shop indeed. There's nothing quite like the bait of a brand new Mega Mall to lure in the local yokels and their teenagers. They will shut till they drop, all right. Drop to their knees and obey my every command. <laughs> you? Hey, who am I talking to? Everyone is welcome here. Everyone except you. And what's wrong with me? No dogs allowed. I'm not a dog. That's debatable, but they definitely are. I thought I told you to stay. They don't belong to me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Now him, he belongs to me. Well, you can only come in if you leave that outside. Oh, what's more important? A boy's best friend or a brand new shopping mall? Well... Oh, give me a moment. Oh, no. Soppy puppy look number 23 gets me every time. You can keep your rotten mega mall. Come on, Nasha. Let's go and hang out around the small shops. Sit and stay. And this time I mean it, OK? I don't want to catch you moving. You're lucky to have caught me, Dennis. I was closing early. Doesn't anyone want tools today, Mr O'Toole? Nobody wants anything from the old shops today. <laughs> Phew, that's fun. Everyone's too busy spending their money in that brand new shopping centre. It's Mum and Dad. Look at all the amazing bargains we've just bought in the Mega Mall. I can't wait to get back to buy even more stuff. Stuff is right! A motorised sock rack. Left-handed pencils. Little lawnmowers for window boxes. What's gotten into you? Life will be so much easier with these wonderful new innovations. I must withdraw all our savings. And buy more. We must buy lots more. There's something strange going on at that mall, Nasha. And we're going to find out what. <laughs> Come on, Nasha. The truth is in here. I knew it. We can crawl along these ducts, just like in the movies. You can say that again. Curly, I love this thing. Me too, pie face. What is it? I have no idea, but I need another seven. Let's go home and smash our piggy banks. Then we can buy one of those automatic piggy bank smashers. Perhaps they will take my parrot in part exchange. Ah! Parrot exchange! Well, Nasha, it looks like you and I are the only sane people left in this town. I hear it too. <laughs> this is all the work of your standard evil villain. Or maybe not so standard villain. <laughs> they said I was mad, you know. They laughed at me. Red's trademark. The world's greatest inventor. 
And all because I tried to make the world a more practical place with my gadgets. Ah, my latest invention, the fold-out friend. You never tired of hearing my story, do you? They scoffed when I invented the chocolate fire guard. They chortled when I came up with the fly-friendly foam fly swatter. And they spat out their soup when I introduced this, the toothless comb for bald men. But it is I who will have the last laugh. <laughs> Secret plan divulging should begin about... If the world won't willingly buy my inventions... Now? Then I will force them to with this. Through the mixing of hypnotic suggestions with mindless male music, I can make the public do anything I please. They might think they're listening to the soothing sound of Muzak, but in fact... And when I've sucked this town dry of spare change, I'll move my mobile mal onto the next town, and the next, and the next, until the entire world is far more practical, and I am very, very rich. Nasha, we've got to do something. Jump down there and chew up that tape. Give me all your money. <laughs> oh, I wish I had fed you so many tri-pound treats. Whoa! It was fun. I wouldn't mind going round again. Uh, can't fight it. Must obey. Must buy. <laughs> Useless gizmos. I knew I saw a dog. Dogs are the only creatures who cannot hear my control signal. Capture that security breach. <laughs> Wing, screen, wipers for sunglasses. I need three of these. Sorry. Blasted clockwork headsman. They do save money on batteries, but oh, they wind me up. Now bring me that dog! I'll buy two. Yes! Need a cookery book with a built-in laser tin opener? Where... where am I? Oh, how lovely. I wake up from a dream about shopping, and look! <laughs> I am shopping! Oh, Nasha? Uh-oh! My tape! He's eaten my tape! Nice one, Nasha. Give me three. <laughs> Those clockwork clowns are after us. Run, Nasha! Grab him. He's a sad lad. I'm sad. 
You're the one whose only friend is made out of cardboard. I'll tell him you said that. Better move to another town, Mr Weirdo. This one's got Dennis in it. Get him, boys! No, oh, not again. Where's my wind-up key? Where's my wind-up key finder? Nasha, I think it's time to act our age. <laughs> On your right, a pile of useless junk. On your left, Reggie Boy trying to escape. Hang on! Aha! My umbrella hat! Not so good in the rain, but great for stormy situations! Jump, Nasha! Grab him, Nasha! Yeah! That's what friends are for! A boy and his dog. How ironic. Because now it's time to go walkies! <laughs> You've destroyed my plan. Now I'll destroy your town! shop that comes to you. What will they think of next? Crash, crash, crashity crash. Crash! How did you escape? I never thought I'd say it, but these cookery books with built-in laser tin openers really are useful. Curse it! Filed by my own invention! Did you know suet is a most versatile food stuff? Really? Yeah. It is! Now stop this thing or I'll fold your friend and tear along the creases. See if I care. All my friends are disposable anyway. <laughs> now I want you to trample your friends. But I can't steer this thing. <laughs> Let go, you Nasha, <laughs> you come back here. Aha! I think I've got the hang of this. Hang on, Nasha. I'm coming to save you! <laughs> Dennis, this is no time for syncopation! Emergency. Nasha, would you care to do the honours? of yours. I could fix that so it also makes pasta. Well done, Dennis and Nasha. Though it's hard to believe you've actually saved the day. We would have given you that fantastic sound system as a reward, but we can't seem to find it at the moment. That's all right. There's only one sound I want to hear from now on. Dash, dash! Exactly. Who needs average dogs when you've got Nasha? Come on, boy. Yeah! Not too fast!
last, ye scurvy dog! Take that! Figurehead ruined! Posh Fetty Hall needs your money. I am Lord Posh Fetty. Enjoy my theme park. Have fun spending lots of money. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Blue beard, red beard, black beard, nose beard, and even a weird beard. What would they say if they could see me now? Landlocked and fighting kiddies in a theme park. Oh, how times have changed. That kid landed on my head, Dad. Oh, and what about the figurehead? It's all broken, Dad. Stop your whinging! A pirate never earned his parrot prattling on like a pair of pea brain poltroons. Sorry, Dad. That's Captain Dad to you. You're the last of a famous line. Hold your heads high and make your ancestors proud. Yes, yes Captain, Captain Dad. Dad. Our, Our own parrots. Oh, just imagine. Be off with you! And carve me a new figurehead by daybreak. Yes, Captain Dad. Oh, yes. Times have changed. <sighs> that hopeless pair gets seasick in their bath. <laughs> that was great, Dennis. Beef. I'm a pirate! Let's go see if my mum has more free tickets for the next performance. As you can see, the next statue on our tour is also made of marble. And as you can see, it looks remarkably similar to me. For you are all gazing in wonder at a statue of one of my aristocratic ancestors. Oh, Walter, I do love it when you show off. Uh, yes. It is called The Boy Walter and is worth millions. Ha-ha! <laughs> Unlike the real Walter, who's worth less, Dennis! No hard feelings, me hearty. Here, hold me parrot. <laughs> Oh, that's no parrot! Be careful! Oh, no! A statue! That was very 
very nearly a break dance. My birthday trip is being ruined, Father. Please cheer me up with something expensive. Thanks for the tour. <laughs> Your birthday is tomorrow, and we'll collect something very expensive then, my boy. Oh, careful, Dennis. I'd lose my job if anything happens to that statue. Bad time to ask for more pirate tickets, then. Hmm. Will it do? Oh, yeah, well, the perfect new figurehead for the ship, and I hear it's worth a fortune. Oh, so if we take it, then we'll be doing some real part in as well. Ha-ha! 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 Oh, we are wicked. <laughs> I'll chart a course to the hall, and you carve a fake statue to replace the boy Walter. Oh, Dad will be proud of us at last. We could even win our own parrots. Ha 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 ha! Ah, oh. Nashbeard scourge of the Spanish Main! You've met your match in Captain Dennis. I think the shark's winning. You better help Nasher then. Uh, I can't swim. Good morning, Pie Face. Morning. Dennis, what exactly is this? It's our pirate ship, Dad. You said we could use the old wood in the shed to make it. Yes, I said the wood in the shed. I know. We took it apart from the inside. Oh, my shed. Mum, Mum, can we get more free tickets to the pirate show today? As long as you promise to get this ship out of my garden, Dennis. I can attach wheels to it and sail it to Posh Penny Hall, Dennis. If you get us tickets too. Deal. Deal? Oh, come on, then. See you later, shipmates! We're going to Posh Penny Hall. Can I give you a ride? Oh, are you sure? We're picking up my extremely large and expensive birthday present. It must be a cap for his big head. <laughs> Right, Dennis. You have a good look round while I get the pirate show tickets from Lord Poshpenny. Thanks, Mum. And Dennis! Don't touch anything. Oh, Mum's taking ages. <laughs> Catch, Nasha. <laughs> uh, whoops. Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Catch it! Hurry, downstairs! It's heading for the posh penny shop! So, the only way to avoid selling Posh Penny Hall is to sell the boy Walter instead. Oh, what a shame, Lord Posh Penny. But if needs must. Ah, the boy Walter! Oh, no! Tell me it's not true. It's ruined. Even worse, it's not covered. Well... It's wearing a sweatshirt. No, 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 you don't understand. I mean, it's not covered by insurance. Uh, he dropped this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well.
Wait a minute. This isn't even the right statue. <laughs> it's made of icing sugar. It's a fake. Uh, it is? Oh, yes, exactly. Someone has stolen the real boy Walter. Oh dear, oh dear. They found out the statue is a fake. And it's all the fault of that Dennis and his dog. Ahoy there! Who's that pasty shipmate with you? Well, uh, I think it's time we let Captain Dad in on our kidnap. <gasps> Look who's leaving! They must have the stolen statue! Dennis, really? Not Walter's dad. We'll get help! Dennis, come back! <laughs> a priceless statue for a figurehead! Well done, lads! Just one thing, Captain Dad. <laughs> Lord Pushpenny's found out we've nicked it. Prepare to sail! Oh! Oh! Nearly there! Carly! Over here! Oh, 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 you're shocking. Oh, that's not Come on! Yo, to the ship! Okay. Oh, it took me all morning, but I got it here, Dennis! Just in time, Curly. Walter's dad has stolen the statue of his ancestor. Walter's dad? I want to see what's under that sheet. We really should wait until we're home, Walter. Oh, do get on with it, Father. I want to see my present now. Shut your eyes, son. All shall be revealed momentarily. Anchors away! Let's take a few particulars. Name? Calamity! And your first name, sir? Walter! Walter Calamity. Stop, thief! The jig's up! Hit the open road! Set course, me hearties! Captain Dennis to the rescue! Hide, you land lovers! Look! The statue! Then what's under the sheet? No peeking yet. Ta-da! Oh, dear! Don't you like it? It's a boat! Display was my present, Father. Enemy on the horizon and gaining on us, Captain Dad. No one outruns my ship. More power to the cannons. <laughs> that pirate ship and get the statue back! <gasps> Pirates up the port bell! Shiver me good leg! We'll never make it under that! Time to chart a new course! <laughs> after that statue! Mum's job depends on it! <laughs> It's that horrible kid and his friends. Don't make me fight him again, Captain Dad. Throw something in there, Pat. Not the anchor. Ha-ha! <laughs> the high seas at last. <laughs> this is more like it. Raise the Johnny Roger! Ahar! <laughs> Real pirates at last! Hey! They're going to get away! Ha ha ha! Not while Captain Dennis is in command! Run up the flag, Pie Face! And Curly, run down the pirates! <laughs> oh, they're coming after us! 
us, Captain Dad. Put a shot across their bow. That'll show them we mean business. Whoa! It's a real pirate ship with a real statue. Luckily, we have a toy shark. <laughs> Thanks, pie face. Sharky, then. He's one of the crew, Pie Face, and has to pull his weight. Sharks away! Going shark, starboard bow! Sharks can't. <laughs> Ooh, I'll save you, Captain Dad. Scurvy dogs to starboard. Only one of us is a dog and he ain't scurvy! Charge! Whoa. 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 Try and get to the statue. I'll hold them off. OK, Den! You don't beat me this time. <laughs> Of you to break his phone, Nasha. <laughs> ah, you again. Who did you expect? Peter Pan? <laughs> You're not really an actor pretending to be a pirate at all, are you? <laughs> You've caught on at last, lad. I'm a real pirate. Ha <laughs> ha! This false leg is real. It's a real leg that's false. <laughs> now time for you to jump ship, me lad. Quick, Nasha, to the crow's nest. Ship sinking. My birthday present. Oh, the pirate ship. My statue. <laughs> See for yourself. <laughs> Time to retire with dignity. Dogs to cross swords with Captain Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> and so, ladies and gentlemen, the boy Walter has returned to its rightful place at Poshpenny Hall, thanks to Dennis and his crew. Ta da! So, I'm now delighted to present Dennis with a very special token of my appreciation. Only. The icing sugar version, of course. But I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Icing sugar, Nasha? Thanks! Nasha enjoyed it immensely! <laughs> 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 